Oh dear Alicia, you mention how long it takes for me to write a book. <laughs> You're like, wow, the first one's in 2001, the second one's in 2007. Um, and then later you, uh, you ask about, you ask about um, whether or not another one's coming up. So I'll address the first question, which is, was it difficult to publish another book of poetry six years after the first one? Um, some sort of and sort of not. I mean, it was difficult for me to write while I was working in some ways. I've always had to work. It's not like you sit down and have a big block of time to just be a poet. You have to be a poet while you're feeding yourself and paying your rent, right? So uh, there was that. Um, and I was learning. I, I still feel like I'm learning. Like maybe now, maybe now my pace will increase a little bit. I don't know. But that a book, that I managed to complete a book in the first place surprises me. And that the second one got completed is also kind of a surprise. And the fact that I plan to you know, complete a third one and another one, it's still somewhat mystifying the process of how these things happen. Um, obviously, I sit down and write, and I eventually put something together. Um, but time flies, and yeah, I just... I mean, I've written a dissertation over the past five years, so... I feel like if I hadn't been working on a PhD dissertation for that long, that my third book would have come out before this. So, yeah, there was a bit of an issue, or not an issue, but uh, a bit of a delay because my second book does some things differently than my first book. And uh, the folks who were happy to publish my first book might not have been as into what I was doing in my second book. Um, not because it's better or worse, just it's just that different presses um, support different kinds of writing. And so with my second book, I kind of pushed the edge of what my publisher usually usually does. So we will see if my publisher is interested in my third book. I'm kind of thinking they won't be because it's even more... Um, what we call experimental. Um, it's even more in a tradition that's visual and sound oriented. 